Welcome back to our FCS Dynasty, everybody. I spoke with head coach Seth Maddox of the Savannah State Tigers last week about the Ohio Bobcats football game, and he said this one will be rough. We're headed to take on a ranked opponent. All we have heard all year is how we are killing easy teams, but all the players want to come out this week and take a win away from a great team. We aren't going to change up too much initially, and we are going to make the Bobcats stop our offense if they want to win. Both running backs have to be on top of their game, and we have got to get some good throws from Jeremy. This is our toughest matchup. Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Let's see what happens. Jarmel Lewis also said about the number one wide receiver spot, We are playing as a team and winning. I'm just going to keep working hard, and my time will come. I like that attitude. I'll see you guys down on the field after the guys make their predictions for this huge matchup for the Tigers. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're going to enjoy great weather in tonight's game as the skies are clear and the temperature is just right for the Tigers and the Ohio Bobcats. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Bobcats. The Tigers don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Ohio is led offensively by the quarterback, and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. You know me. I decided my pick a couple of days ago. I've got to go with Ohio. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. So the guys must not have got the memo uh, because the Tigers have been destroying everybody. They've outscored their opponents 141-28 to 28 this season in just two games. MJ Gator Jr. gets loose on the second play from scrimmage, and he's going to take it to the house. Unreal start for the Tigers. MJ Gator Jr. just taking the second carry of the game all the way. Now He actually wanted Evan Barber to start this week. He said he really thinks that him and Barber are one of the best dual backs in college football right now. But the head coach decided not to start Barber, but he will get more carries than he normally gets. And fourth and 26 there for the Bobcats. Tigers get the ball quickly again. Carroll over the middle, caught by Schmidt. He breaks the tackle, and he's going to coast into the end zone for another Savannah State Tiger touchdown. They're on top 14 to nothing already. Unreal start. For Savannah State, Ohio is just, they don't have a clue what's going on right now. And coming into today's game, the leaders on offense, Jeremy Carroll, he's got five touchdown passes and no picks. And we're going to add a sixth touchdown pass right there. MJ Gator Jr. at seven touchdowns. Coming into today's game, and there's a pick from Thomas, and there's a pick six for Savannah State. Pouring it on here in the first quarter. We haven't even played three minutes yet, and they are on top by three touchdowns. My goodness, that is the eighth takeaway of the season for the Tigers' defense. And Ohio finally gets a first down. They could not afford another three and out right there, but it's third and nine now. Mason right side, short pass to the halfback, and Trot is stuffed. This defense is just so nasty. MJ Gator Jr. breaks the tackle, but he fumbles the football, and it is recovered by Jarmel Lewis, the wide receiver. So a huge pickup nonetheless, second and ten. Evan Barber gets the carry, past midfield, and down at the 42-yard line for the Tigers. Carroll under center. They're going to go option here. Carroll's going to keep it himself, and he'll get the first down up to the 30-yard line. Not a very fast quarterback, but he gets the job done. Second and seven, MJ Gator Jr. up the gut again for another first down. He's got 98 yards on six carries. Second and ten. Carroll, left side, Schmidt has it, and he's down at the one-yard line. I thought he was going to score again. First to go from the one, MJ Gator Jr. in for his ninth total touchdown on the season, his eighth rushing. He is a monster. Ohio back on offense. Trot is stopped short of the first down by Kyle Rose, the big defensive end, and the Tigers take over again. Carroll taking a shot over the middle, caught by Jarmel Lewis at the 49-yard line of Ohio. And there's a look at the yards so far, over 200 for Savannah State and not a whole lot for Ohio. Quick pass, Zay Jones running over the star cornerback, picks up the first down to the 33. 
Play action. Carroll's going to take a shot here. Rolling out right side. No, he's going to take off. Look at all that space in front of him. Tries the stiff arm. Gets taken down at the 23-yard line. Second and one. MJ Gator Jr. jukes the corner out of his shoes. Walks into the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. And his 10th total touchdown on the season. And that cornerback stood no chance. So what the defense can do here. Up big. Mason throws it out left side, caught right in front of Chris Numa, who compared himself to Deion Sanders earlier in the week. Mason left side, caught by McDougal, and Chris Numa fumbles the f or forces the fumble. I don't think I've ever seen Deion Sanders hit anybody that hard before. That was a monstrous hit. And that was actually recovered by Rayshon Griffin. That's his first career fumble recovery as well. Griffin came into today's game with 10 tackles, 5 for loss, and 1 pick. And here's Jarmel Lewis with a nice catch up to the 44-yard line. There's still a minute and a half to go in the first half, folks. And then Barber with a carry. He'll pick up five or six yards. And they have a shot at being up six scores here. Carroll hit as he throws it. Completes it out to Schmidt for the first down. Second and ten. Carroll rolling out left side. Got Barber wide open. He's going to break a tackle and get into the end zone for another touchdown for Savannah State. And they are just destroying the Bobcats of Ohio right now. The number 18 team in the nation. And it's not even close. 42-0. You can just tell the huge difference between talent. And there's a nice pass downfield. Chris Newman gets beat by Jackson. And that gets Mason up over the 500-yard passing mark on the season. Third and goal. Can the Tigers get a goal line stand here? Cody Lee deflects it away in the end zone. And they hold Ohio to a field goal attempt. The kick is up and it is good. They finally get on the board, but it is 42 to 3, folks. Did any of you see this coming? I didn't. I predicted Savannah State would win a close one, 34 to 31. And that is not even close to being happening right now. Mason, right side, deflected away, almost picked off. Third and six. Mason pressured again, and he is dropped by the left outside linebacker. Non-subscriber player coming through on the blitz. Tigers will get the ball back here. And right side, Matt Meeks, his first catch of the game. Very underutilized target, but they haven't really needed him. Just keep feeding the beast, and they do, and he'll get a first down right there. 31-yard line, MJ Gator Jr. jukes to the inside. 15-yard carry right up the gut. He is a monster. Carroll sacked back at the 40-yard line. He hasn't been sacked at all this season, I believe, or very often. Third and six. Carroll, nice block and, uh, by the halfback, and Schmidt is over the middle for the first down. Second and nine. Barber, carry, left side, huge block by Charmel Lewis. Springs Barber free for the touchdown. What a block by the wide receiver. My goodness. 37-yard touchdown run for Evan Barber. Let's take a look at that block. Jeez, he didn't stand a chance. And then he goes out and blocks the safety for good measure. Defense back on the field. And Trot goes absolutely nowhere. Cleveland on the tackle, third for the loss today. Mason going to throw it out right side. They like these little passes out to the halfback, but they don't do anything. Cleveland gets another tackle for a loss, and the Tigers take back over. And Evan Barber runs through two defenders. 239 yards rushing today. Tigers are averaging 282 on the ground this season. And there's a nice run by the backup fullback. They got the backups in now for the Tigers. And here's J.J. Barber, the quarterback, getting a first down on the ground. Third and two, Marquardt, the backup fullback, gets another first down, dragging defenders down the field. This has been a complete blowout from the start. And here is Barber to the outside. And he's going to stay in bounds, picking up the first down. 88 yards for him today on nine carries with a touchdown. His best rushing performance of the season. J.J. Barber in the open field, down to the five-yard line. And he's got 28 yards on the ground. First and goal from the five. And there are the players of the game. M.J. Gator Jr., 156 yards and three touchdowns. And that is going to do it, folks. 49-3. to three. You can hear a pin drop in this stadium this was the toughest game on the Tigers schedule and you got to think that they might go undefeated in the regular season 
And if Bryant can keep winning the way they are, they will end up meeting Savannah State in the ACC championship game. Dominant performance by the defense today. And the star middle linebacker, Rayshon Griffin, before the game, said that he's happy with what their offense has been doing. And I feel as if we can be title contenders in the near future. Well, that future is upon us, folks. They destroyed the toughest opponent on their schedule. And they've only allowed 31 points this season. And they've put up 190. Unreal numbers right now. Didn't see a whole lot of Chris Newman today. We just saw the uh, forced fumble, his first of his career. But on the season coming into today's game, he had two picks and two punt returns for a touchdown. Jeremy Carroll had a great game. MJ Gator Jr., fantastic. Evan Barber got more touches today than he is used to, and he performed quite well. Eight broken tackles for Evan Barber. Fantastic day for the halfbacks. Jarmel Lewis, two catches, 44 yards. Zay Jones, one for 11. Barber with one and 46 yards on a touchdown. Schmidt, of course, balled out, the not subscriber wide receiver. Matt Meeks, three pancakes today. Zay Jones with one. And Jarmel Lewis on that huge touchdown run from Evan Barber. Rishon Griffin, four tackles. That brings him up to 14 on the season. Chris Numa with three. Cody Lee Jr. with three as well. Kyle Rose with two. Evan Barber out there getting a tackle. Kyle Rose with a tackle for a loss. Two sacks today from the defense. One pick. That was James Thomas. That nice pick six. And that's that was really the big turning point. It was 14-0 at that point. He just took that to the house. And the Tigers never looked back. Rayshon Griffin gets a fumble recovery today. First of his career. Just everybody, all of the subscriber players on this team are just balling out of their minds. No field goals today. The Tigers did have a chance to put up 50-plus points today, but they did the respectable thing and kneeled down on the ball at the 5-yard line of the Bobcats. Ohio was ranked 18th coming into today's game, and they will most likely drop out of the top 25. Savannah State might be ranked after this one. Who knows? But their next matchup, they get a home game finally as they host the Hampton Pirates in some more ACC matchups. Our next game, the number 20 ranked Buffalo Bulls travel to Southern Utah to take on the 2-1 Southern Utah Thunderbirds. I'll see you guys with that one on Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow with the Houston Texans and Tuesday with the Mississippi State Bulldogs dynasty. Till then, I hope to see you guys in the comments section below. Take it easy, guys.